Hello boys and girls and mums and dads and grandmas and granddads. I'm so sorry that I can't come to see you this year, but I always am thinking about you. So instead, I thought I'd read you a story. And the story that I've chosen to read is Little Robin Red Vest. It's by Jan Fernley. It was the week before Christmas and little Robin was getting very excited. He washed and ironed seven warm vests for the frosty days ahead. He put on his white vest and set out to skate on the pond. On the way he met Frog. I'm so cold, said Frog. Can you help? Little Robin gave Frog his white vest. I've still got six vests left, he thought as Frog hopped off happily. Six days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his green vest and dashed out to play in the snow. Down the path came Hedgehog. I'm freezing, he said. Little Robin gave Hedgehog his green vest. I've still got five vests left, he thought, waving goodbye to his prickly friend. Five days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his pink vest and went out to look for worms. He hadn't got far when Mole appeared. Oh, the ground's too hard to dig and I'm chilly, he complained. So little Robin gave his pink vest to Mole. It was a bit tight, but Mole didn't mind. He was nice and warm. Four vests left, thought little Robin. Four days before Christmas, little Robin put on his yellow vest and flew up to sit in the tall oak tree where he met Squirrel. I'm so cold I can't sleep, Squirrel grumbled. Well, you know what happened. Little Robin handed over his yellow vest. Only three vests left now, he thought, as Squirrel dozed off so cosy. Three days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his blue vest. He was swooping down through the clouds when he saw Rabbit on the hill. I'm so cold, my teeth are chattering, said Rabbit. Little Robin gave Rabbit his blue vest. Well, I've still got two left, he said to himself, as Rabbit went cheerfully on his way. Two days before Christmas, Little Robin put on his purple vest and skipped along the river bank. Next to the river stood Otter with her baby. She was very unhappy. My baby is poorly, she said. Little Robin's purple vest was just right for baby Otter and it made him feel so much better. Oh dear, I've only one vest left, thought Little Robin. On the day before Christmas, Little Robin put on his very last vest, a warm orange one. He'd been walking along and whistling to himself for some time when he met a little mouse shivering in the garden. Little Robin felt so sorry for her that he took off his very last woolly vest and pulled it over her chilly little ears. Now it was late on Christmas Eve, the snow was falling and poor little Robin had nothing warm to wear. There was nobody around to help him and it was a very long way home. He fluffed up his feathers as best as he could and huddled miserably on a snowy roof. Soon he fell fast asleep. Not even the sleigh bells woke him up, nor the crunch of snow under two heavy black boots. Large hands scooped little Robin up and tucked him into a soft white beard. You'd better come with me, my lad, chuckled a jolly voice. This is the generous little fellow I told you about, this man said to his wife. He must have a very special present then, I said. And with little Robin snug and cosy in my lap, I set to work. I pulled a thread from a big bright red coat and with it I knitted a tiny vest. It was a perfect fit for a little bird. I'm very proud of you, said the man with a smile. You gave away all your warm clothes to help other people. You, Robin, are full of the spirit of Christmas. And now it's time for your present. This vest is very, very special. It will keep you warm forever. And when other people see you, it will make them feel warm too. 
It was time to go back across the skies as the sun rose to kiss the land. Little Robin was so very happy, his chest glowed as red as a reindeer's nose. Soon little Robin was home. Merry Christmas, cried the man as he flew off. Goodbye and thank you, little Robin shouted back. It was Christmas morning. Boys and girls everywhere were opening their presents. Little Robin flew to the highest branch, proudly wearing his new red vest and sang out sweetly to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And doesn't he look so proud of his little red vest? And that was made from Santa's jacket. And that's the end of my story. Thank you all for joining me. Have a lovely Christmas and a great New Year.